so uh, we have shown the edit link button it tries to take us to the edit page now we shall display the edit form for that particular record so this shall be our scheme this is the table that is being displayed right now it has columns for product type order number amount and then there is an edit button here when the user will click the edit button he will be taken to a form through a get request passing the id as a parameter and existing data for that particular id will be dis pre displayed on the form and when the user clicks on the save button that data will be saved through a post request through a post request to the same form and if the data is successfully saved he will be taken back to the original form this is what we have to do now we shall begin to make we our purpose of this lecture is to arrange for this when the user clicks this edit button he is taken to a new form and the data corresponding to that id is shown there so that he can see what is already there and then he can make changes to it now if we see this page we should first of all create this page and for this let us see that uh, we have a drop down list this shows a list of all the products software laptop mobile so if we go to go back to our home controller our first objective should be to write a function for getting these these values of the drop down list and put them in a view back and then we should proceed on to further so as our first step let us go to our home controller and fill the view bag with the items in this drop down list so this is our home controller at present it is having the index action that is used to display the list of all the records on the form and now we have to add one method to it that is a helper method that fills all the products bases into view bag so let us do that now so we can start to write here we can call the function get product codes it should be private anyhow using db orders entities context is equal to new db orders uh, entities and we fill a property called product codes on the view bag and fill all the content of the tpl products bases into that view bag tpl products bases is a table we can have a look at the contents of that table show table data so it contains a prod code and prod name l is for laptop m is for mobile and s is for software so basically that whole table is put into the view back to a property called product codes so when we will be displaying the form for that edit boxes then we will first of all call this function to fill the view bag for the drop down list now we can add a function for the edit box edit uh, uh, form we can add that function here public action re result edit record int id so when the user clicks on that edit button an id will be passed to this action action method it will be received into id and then we shall query the database on the basis of this id and send the data to the view we shall send that record to the view